Before diving into any major investment, it's important to determine whether it is the right fit for you. Solar is no different. For most homeowners, going solar is a solid investment that saves money, benefits the environment, and helps protect against the rising costs of electricity. But it's a good idea to weigh these pros against a few potential downsides of solar energy to make sure your investment in solar will pay off. To help make an educated decision, here are both the major pros and cons of going solar. The biggest pros of solar are the financial and environmental benefits it provides. Solar ultimately saves you money by reducing or even eliminating your electricity bill because you're generating your own electricity with your home solar system. Since home solar systems typically last 25 to 35 years, you can lock in these savings for a long time. Additionally, between the tax credits currently available through the federal government and any others available at your state or local level, your upfront costs can be significantly reduced by taking advantage of rebates and incentives. We often talk about solar as a long-term investment, but even if you think you might move, solar can help you sell your home. A solar system will increase your home value, usually by about 4%, meaning it's a good investment whether you're putting down roots or thinking about moving somewhere down the line. At the same time, if you're thinking about moving in the next five years or less, you may want to think twice about going solar. One of the cons to consider for solar is that while solar increases your home value, you'll typically hit the break-even point for solar around eight or nine years. That means you may not fully recoup your investment if you install solar and move after five years or less. That brings us to another con. Going solar only makes sense if you own your home. If you're a renter, you may not have roof rights or even roof access, keeping you from installing a home solar system. Even if you do own your home, not every house is ideal for solar. If you don't have a south-facing roof that's free of shade for most of the day, you may not be able to maximize solar production on your roof, meaning you could spend a lot on solar for limited solar production. And finally, solar isn't free. If the cost of your electricity is already cheap, then your potential solar savings would be limited, which might mean you aren't a great fit for solar, at least not right now. At the end of the day, deciding whether the pros outweigh the cons is a personal choice, but Energy Sage makes it easy to evaluate your solar options transparently from the comfort of your own home without high pressure sales tactics. You can chat with one of our expert energy advisors on your own terms about how the pros and cons of solar will impact your solar decision. And ultimately, they'll help you pick the installer that best fits your needs for your solar installation. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what other questions you have about all things home energy, and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos.